Hi guys, this is Anastasia Holdridge, Coach Ace here with Ace and Rich Freedom by Design. Welcome to this video. Today I have a tutorial for you, a new one, and I'm going to teach you how to convert your blog post into a PDF and we're going to take it to the next level and we're going to share it on SlideShare. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, here's what you're looking at. On my screen, I'm doing a screen share and you can see inside my SlideShare account where I have all my PDFs already uploaded. And I did this by using an app called printfriendly.com. But a lot of people have asked me, hey Ace, how do you even do this? You know, I want to learn how to do that. So guess what? That's what I'm here to teach you. So what we're going to do is I like to pre-start everything. So I got all three tabs open. I got my blog open, which is aceandrich.com. I've got my um, printfriendly.com website open and I have my SlideShare account open. This will help me work efficiently. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to aceandrich.com. Okay. And that's our blog. Let me see here. Um, there it is. Okay. So one of the things that I like to do is after I'm done writing my blog post and I'm publishing, it is one of my steps and I'm going to work on creating this for you guys. It's my actual checklist that you guys can download and use for yourself so you can see what I'm doing and then you model after me to do the checklist and follow everything point by point so you know how to properly share your blog post and get it syndicated and out there. So I'm going to go to my story and I'm going to put my bio on SlideShare. So watch this. All right. So while it's loading. Okay. So this is my story and, and uh, I have uh, a lot of pages here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this whole entire bio into a readable PDF that is available on SlideShare so that my followers on SlideShare can also download it, read it as well. Because not everybody knows that you have a blog sometimes, so you got to like go to everywhere, like put it out there. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this URL right here, double click, right click, copy, go to printfriendly.com. You see where it says make any page print friendly? That's where you're going to paste your URL. So let me do that. Okay, now I'm going to go to print preview. Give it a few seconds. There it is, baking in the oven. <laughs> and now that it's going there, here it is. Great, wonderful. And if I didn't want the images, I could take that out if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave everything the way it is. But those of you who've seen my print friendly uh, review, definitely check that out and you can watch the video of how I use print friendly. So what I'm going to do is going to click on PDF, very simply like this. There it is. Give it a few seconds. And it says download your PDF. Now I'm going to click on that and it's going to automatically download right into my desktop. All right. And then what I like to do is I like to show in folder so I know where it is exactly to have it already open. All right. Now I'm going to go back to my Chrome and I'm going to minimize this so I can work efficiently. Get used to that, guys. You want to definitely do that. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to bring this in a little bit so I can see my file folders. Here they are. Now I'm going to go to slideshare.com. Okay. Make sure you have a slideshare account. It is free to use and it's just a, another social media platform. And I'm going to go to this orange button here after I logged in, go to upload. Okay. Now it says select files to upload. I'm going to click, hold and drag. See, it says drop here to upload. How easy is that? Mm hmm. And after you do that, now it's loading. All right. So while we're here, what is the next step to do as it's loading? Okay, there it is. It's already ready. We need to put in the title of the blog post. We need to put in the description that has the actual description of the post. And then we need to choose a category. Um, you can leave it public because that's what you want to do. And then you got to put in your tags. And then you see where it says discoverability score. That's pretty low right now because there's no content in there. So I'm going to show you how to quickly do that. So the first thing I like to do is I look at the title and I don't like it because that's not what I want it to be. That's the name of the file that I just downloaded from Print Friendly. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to type in what the actual title is, which is Anastasia Haldridge Story, right? Matches congruency. Now I need a bio, right? So I'm going to put in the description. This is what I like to do. And guys, I'm going to put this in my checklist so you guys know it. I like to just grab the first paragraph of my 
bio or my blog post, and that's what you'll see me do frequently. And I'm going to copy and go right back to SlideShare and I'm gonna paste it. Now, why did I do that? Because in the first headline, in the first sentence, in the first paragraph of every blog post, one of my biggest tips is to put the keyword right there for SEO purposes, okay? Yes, I know a little bit of SEO. <laughs> Not just for it's me, <laughs> he taught me. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the category. Now, something considering about bio, is it about people, is it about business, is it about education? We like to go towards the education niche. I just like to tell people, you know, it's always good to learn something, so it's about education. So what I'm gonna do is that, and then tags. Well, think about it, if it's about you, shouldn't you put your own name? So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna make my name in there, there it is. Look, comes right up automatically, yes, that's what I want. And you see that little bubble? That means that that's a tag already. And now my discoverability score just went up, right? So now I'm gonna put Anastasia Haldridge. I'm gonna put alternative names as well. Okay, good. So I got my name, my personal name, because I'm branding me, right? So I'm personal name, regular, like how I normally spell it, and then backwards, and then also I put my name, misspell, in case somebody, you know, misspells my name. So other than that, my discoverability score went up, Perfect, it's all green and ready to go. Click the orange button, publish. Give it a few seconds. Let's take a look. There it is. How beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, it's about 10 pages long, but you know what? That really doesn't matter because people are actually digging up bios. You know why? Because they want to learn how to write their own bios. So if you want to get inspired to write your own bio for your blog, for your authority blog site, take a look at mine model after it, get some inspiration, get some ideas of how to create your own blog um, bio, because that's what people are really looking for before they connect with you. They want to know who you are, what's your story, you know, how'd you become successful, what's going on, like that kind of thing, all right? So other than that, this was the tutorial for the day, and you guys, if you like this post and you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up, and if you're first time here, subscribe right there, okay? we definitely love to have you here to see more content, more training, more tutorials, more Ace and Rich. Freedom by Design, all right? I'm Anastasia Hall, just Coach Chase, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.